Uranus, one of the two ice giants in our solar system, possesses a unique characteristic in its orbital tilt. Unlike most planets that have upright rotational axis, Uranus reclines gracefully on its side, almost parallel to the orbit it takes around the Sun. This peculiar tilt creates the illusion that Uranus is rolling around the solar system as the other planets spin around it. The uniqueness of this tilt, approximately 98 degrees, had long been suspected, but it wasn't until Voyager 2 arrived at Uranus in 1986 that definitive confirmation was obtained. Welcome and join me, the Cosmic Skipper, as we explore how Voyager 2 helped confirm the axial tilt of Uranus and how this unique characteristic may have been the result from one of the most significant and cataclysmic impact events in solar system history. Since Sir William Herschel's discovery of Uranus in 1781, scientists have been captivated by its peculiarities. Unlike most planets in our solar system, such as Saturn, with its major moons like Titan, Enceladus and Mimas orbiting in alignment with the planet's equatorial plane, and roughly parallel to the orbital plane, Uranus presented a perplexing deviation from the observed norm. Instead of orbiting in line with its equator and parallel to the orbital plane, Uranus's moon and ring system seem to be oriented at an unusual 90 degrees to them, an anomaly that led scientists to propose the intriguing notion that Uranus possessed an exceptionally unusual axial tilt. Launched by NASA on August 20th, 1977, Voyager 2 embarked on what was called the Grand Tour of the Solar System, where flybys of Jupiter and Saturn helped slingshot it towards Uranus before reaching it on January 24th, 1986. One of its key mission objectives was to provide data for scientists to determine Uranus's axial tilt. But how could it help in doing this? Typically, a planet's magnetic field aligns closely with its rotational axis, which makes it a valuable indicator of axial tilt. Voyager 2 was equipped with instruments to measure this tilt, where it discovered that Uranus's magnetic field exhibited a significant tilt of approximately 59 degrees relative to the planet's rotational axis. This discovery provided direct and unequivocal evidence that Uranus did indeed have an extreme axial tilt. Voyager 2 also collected vital data on the intricate orbital motions of Uranus's five largest moons, Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania and Oberon. This data played a pivotal role in mathematical modelling where the principles of celestial mechanics helped uncover irregularities observed in these moon's orbits that could only be explained away by the influence of an extreme axial tilt that was estimated to be about 98 degrees. Additionally, Uranus's ring system offered further evidence supporting the concept of an extraordinary axial tilt as Voyager 2's observations confirmed that the rings were nearly perpendicular to Uranus's orbital plane. It is hypothesized that a violent high-energy collision could have knocked Uranus on its side, creating the extreme tilt we observe today. This event occurred several billion years ago, so is there any evidence for it? While direct evidence of this monumental impact event remains elusive, scientists have turned to supercomputer simulations to better understand it. In doing so, they have added weight to the Great Impact Hypothesis, as they do confirm a collision with a planet twice Earth's size could indeed cause Uranus's unusual axial tilt. Intriguingly, the simulations have also revealed a range of profound consequences arising from such an impact which offer potential solutions to other irregularities Uranus has. For example, despite being closer to the Sun than Neptune, Uranus is the coldest planet in our solar system, with temperatures plummeting to minus 224 degrees Celsius. The simulations have shown that debris generated during the collision formed a thin internal shell around Uranus's core, effectively trapping heat 
and this may have offered insight into why Uranus's outer atmosphere remains exceptionally cold. The simulations also shed light on Uranus's moon system. They suggest that the initial impact ejected substantial amounts of debris into orbit around Uranus, which eventually coalesced to form some of the planet's 27 moons. Importantly, the simulations have shown that the mass and orbits of these moons closely resemble those of Uranus's current moon population, providing further support for the impact hypothesis and helping us theorise the origins of the moons around Uranus. But what of the planet that impacted into Uranus? Did it survive? On a planetary scale, tangling with a planet that is seven times more massive than itself is not going to end well for the smaller planet. Typically, when massive planetary size objects collide, gravity, coupled with the colossal amount of impact energy released from such a collision, would be enough to break its planetary coherence, fragmenting it in the process. With all the data provided by Voyager 2 as it sped by Uranus, it may have captured images of planetary fragments left over from the collision that are now part of the ring structure or part of the planet's moon system that we see today. I like to think though, however improbable it may be, that a part of this planet somehow survived and is maybe somewhere out there with Voyager 2 awaiting to be discovered. <laughs>